What's going on? Oh man, I am so excited. Welcome to session I'm zero. Really excited. Session zero of uh, Lost Minds of Fan Delver. Uh, hardcore. Oh, we, we just are unpacked. Yeah, absolutely. The, all the people that you're surrounded with, you have to go ahead and use theater of the mind for the people that are <laughs> absolutely crowded here at the tavern. <laughs> uh, yeah, today is session uh, zero. Um, we're going to be doing something we I don't think we've ever done in IO history, and that's going to be making characters on stream. And I'm very excited about this because we will be using a set of hardcore rules that I have devised to make things as challenging and impossible uh, as I possibly can. And all of you seem to be uh, a little glutton for punishment in video games and gaming. <laughs> so just you love huh? getting owned. Oh man. <laughs> Is that why you invited a... us? What? <laughs> <laughs> I set up like an electrical tools to, to shock me whenever I get take down. Yes. Oh yeah. I got that <laughs> collar on, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, Lost Minds of Fan Delver is, is my. I've only I, I, I've only played a couple of uh, adventure modules, but I really loved uh, Lost Minds of Fan Delver. It came out with the Five E Starter Pack, which came out before any of the core rule books. Uh, it was the first introduction of Five E, where there, where Wizards was like, "Hey, this is what Five E is going to be." It was a fifteen dollar box with a four session campaign. I believe a set of dice. They were like cheaply made dice, but still a set of dice that you could play with and four pre-made characters. So you and, mm -hmm. and, and the adventure pack, by the way, had had all the rules in it that to run a game. So it tells you how to play the game had magic items, had creatures. And it was like 15 bucks. It was a really cool introduction uh, to Dungeons and Dragons. And I'm so happy to be revisiting it with you guys uh, with the. <laughs> With this fun hardcore rule set so will you guys survive through session one i we'll we'll, we'll find out we don't even know what kind of character uh, you guys don't even know what characters you're That's making true. today true. because of mm, uh it's a clean slate it's a it's a complete clean slate so um i've started you guys over to tavern specifically in a tavern uh in neverwinter uh because this Ooh. is where the game We'll first begin uh, before you guys set off uh, down the Sword Coast to the south uh, to deliver uh, a cart of goods over to the village of Fandelver. Uh, so, real quick, first off, I'm going to show you. So, before we get to character creation and getting everything made, let me tell you a little bit about how we will be starting the game uh, come session one. And first, that is going to be with a, give me one second, please. Looking. I'm looking. Ah, here we are. I'm going to show you guys this. We've got quests now uh, over in Foundry. Oh, oh wow. So drop this on me. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's and a whole gold for the reward. <laughs> huh? oh, let's get it. Did you jump That'll all the way it. to the rewards? Yeah, of course <laughs> like, I did. My man, my man. <laughs> uh, so uh, your campaign will begin uh, by um, your dwarven patron and friend, Gundren Rockseeker, who's going to be hiring you all to escort a wagon to Fandolin. Gundren will be going ahead with a warrior named Sildar Hallwinter and a wizard named Valenth uh, Liadon to attend to business in the town while you guys uh, will be heading the kind of like slower cart, protecting that over there. Uh, once you guys escort the cart safely uh, over to Fandolin, each of you, not just 10 gold pieces, each of you will be getting 10 gold pieces uh, over at uh, wow. Barth Barthin's oh Provisions. My. Holy. Yes, absolutely. And so that is your objective is just escort wagon to Fandolin. And uh, if you guys do that, you'll get yourselves your 10 gold pieces. Uh, meanwhile, your 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 dwarven patron and friend uh, will be heading off with his party uh, ahead of you guys over to, to take care of some business while you guys are, uh, you know, on on level one adventuring duty, which is protect this cart and nothing bad's gonna happen to any of you 
Hopefully. No. Well, I sure not. hope not, because my character, whoever he is, only signed out to walk a cart somewhere. <laughs> much of a <laughs> so, now that you guys know what, how the campaign is going to begin and what your objective is, um, let's start going over a little bit of the hardcore rules. Uh, I went ahead and posted it ahead of time. But don't worry, we've also made updates since that post, so even if you guys, including the players, are coming in believing you know what it is, we've 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 continued to uh, tamper a little bit. Do you have Ooh. surprises? See, I that's have. why I chose to not, res like, actually understand or take right. in any information. Right. <laughs> so when I roll a one and you say my character's leg came off, I yeah. can say, okay, sounds good, DM. <laughs> Because why, why read it? Read why, it ahead of time? why do I need to know the rules if I'm living the rules right now? <laughs> if in I'm space? experiencing the rules, well, <laughs> a little of column A, a little of column B, uh, as you will soon discover. Uh, let's let's do a little character creation music wall, something nice and peaceful, a little, mm. a, a little levity, mm. a little calm. You know, this is gonna be your moment. Also, to Yes. Uh, also, to all the viewers who are looking at the IRL uh, pictures of everyone at the bar, this is not what their tokens are going to be, unless they want it to be. You know, who knows? We'll we'll see what happens. True. <laughs> so cathartic, my character dying, and it's my <laughs> fault. <laughs> <laughs> so what do I do now? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, enough, enough, enough teasing around. You guys want to see the hardcore rule set we're going to be running for this, uh, this little campaign? Yeah. Yes. I, I'm, I'm going to read it to you, but I'm also going to go ahead and show it to you. So, well, we've got a couple of sections here that we're going to go over. I'm going to start from top to bottom, and it's, uh, it's going to be a good time. So first, we're going to talk about character creation. Um... When you guys are going to be making your characters, you can only use the player's handbook uh, for character creation. You can't use any of the alternative variations of the races that have been released later on. We are sticking. It's, it's 2014 again, and we're just going to stick with that player's handbook. Uh, you also can't choose any variants of the races. So variant human is out. Um, I also say. Uh, uh, we will be using feats in this campaign. If you do get to level four and you'd like to replace your ASI with a feat. Lucky is banned, just so you guys are aware, so you will not as be, it should be as it should be. <laughs> um, so you, you're going to have to kind of go in order when you're building your character sheet. Instead of trying to come in with like an already idea of what kind of character you want to build, um, we're gonna, life is essentially going to determine what kind of character you are. And first, that starts with, uh, you know... Who, who, who are you? Uh, you'll be choosing your race first. And if your race allows for a selection of racial bonuses, um, like half elf and other races as well, you have to choose them at this point. You cannot choose them after you roll your ability scores. You have this, this is who you are born into the world as. Then afterwards, we're going to go ahead and see how you grew up and, and what that's like with your ability score rolls. You'll be rolling a 3d6 per ability score now normally it's 46 drop the lowest ones because 3d6 is, in is pretty uh it's pretty challenging uh fuck that this is a hardcore playthrough so it's 3d6 and to make it uh, a little more spicier you have to roll them in stat order so you can't move them around either uh you'll have to roll your strength your dex your con your int your whiz and your charisma in that exact order. And no matter what happens, uh, that's where the dice lies. That's where it is. You can't switch it around to do other things. After we roll your ability scores, you will then have the opportunity to pick your background. Uh, you're free to any of the backgrounds over in the player's handbook. And then and only then will you choose the class that you wish to play. Because you might kind of see... You know, the stats that have rolled and decide, maybe I'm better off as a rogue or a warlock instead of, you know, the the yeah, fighter. Yeah, yeah. Or, maybe I'll roll another, like, D9 and just, like, randomly select my class. As or well, you... Like a sicko. Or, or you could be a... Sicko. You could, Jesus, you're sick. You you're could, sick in the head. You could be a sicko. That is true. You could also do that. However you... <laughs> Joe, type it up. 
<laughs> yep, I'm, I'm writing up the backgrounds now. <laughs> What about people now? <laughs> See, here's the best part about this run, chat, is that I've got the rule set here, and then I've got uh, at least two players who are now making their own side hardcore rules of what <laughs> they're going to be doing. Some people are sickos, and some people are double sickos. You know yeah. What I mean? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, oh, uh, the big thing that I know is going to be fun for everyone is all your hit points are rolled, including your first level <laughs> hit points. Uh, oh my God. You don't God, start. That's good. You don't start with max health. You got to roll for it just like everything else. Uh, and when you level up, you also roll. No taking the average if you roll below it. Whatever roll, whatever roll you get, that's who you are. And that's what we're we're building off to. So it's, there's going to be Love some it. power discrepancies and that's OK. Uh, starting equipment, nope. We're doing starting gold, which means you will also be rolling for the starting gold that you have, and then you'll be given the opportunity to purchase mundane items as your as your kit, essentially there. Uh, you'll be able to purchase mundane equipment with your starting gold. Don't worry, it's not if uh, it's not a use it or lose it scenario. If you have gold remaining after you've made your purchases, that's gold that's gonna be in your pocket for the uh, for the game. You're free now. Here's one of the surprises. You think you might, I might be, uh, might be a little lenient here, but I'm not. I, I'm gonna have you guys <laughs> begin to torment yourself in your mind whether you should do this or not. You are free to create a new character after you do this process. So oh. after you build oh. the character and you look at it and you decide, I can't this, this is this, I can't do this. I can't fucking do this. Uh, we can do the process again. But no matter, or die. but no matter, One. but yet, or die. no matter what you roll at that point, though, you have to keep the second result if you do decide to do mm. that. Now, I see, I see. if you choose a second re-roll, a second character, um, there are some prerequisites you're going to have to follow. First of all, the original character you rolled is killed, and you have to explain how they were killed. How they were killed off, how they were dead. If you're gonna put the if you're gonna put the axe in them, I need to hear it from you how it was done. And second, that original character has to have a tie-in with your new character. So you mm. have to make sure that character is part of your second character's lore. That's fun. I like it. <laughs> so, okay, cool. Yes. Love that. Uh, big rule because I saw a couple people in uh in, in the community just be like, well, if I just roll a shit com character, I'll just meme death and then roll another one. Uh, you have to value your character's life because that is who you are. You can't be yeah. like, what's over there at that cliff? I jump off it up. Well, I guess I have to re-roll a, a new character. You do have to play your character as if they are, you know, trying to live. Um, make sure you guys are keeping track of all ability scores and hit points. Uh, because we will have some gameplay elements that might affect that. Uh, next down here is the starting wealth that you guys will be rolling, depending on which class you pick. Please keep in mind that monks do have the lowest starting wealth. Uh, everyone is multiplying their gold by 10. Monks do not. They start with the least amount <laughs> of gold. So make sure you guys are aware of that. Now, I've made some class changes that people are probably not going to like, but... Yeah, fuck it. This is my hardcore system. Uh, we have changed the Druid's Wild Shape ability for this playthrough. Uh, whenever you Wild Shape, uh, your hit points will remain. What that means is you don't get an extra pool of hit points that you can then soak through and then Wild Shape again so that you've got this big, huge body armor. Whatever your hit points are is what your hit points are. You're going to go ahead and roll into that. Uh, but you are able to speak while you're in wild shape, so you're good. You're absolutely good. Uh, <laughs> I'm already looking, looking at people in chat being catty. That's okay. Uh, finally, uh, if you are a moon druid, uh, whenever you wild shape, you gain temporary hit points equal to three times your druid level, or that of the creature that you are wild shaping into, that hit points, whichever is lower. So moon druids will still, uh, moon druids will still have the ability to be the, the king of wild shape. Uh, rogues have also been altered, smiley face. Uh, sneak attack can now only be used once around. What that means is if you use your sneak attack during your turn and then you get an attack opportunity on someone, you cannot use another sneak attack 
on them. You have to choose exactly when you would like to use your sneak attack. Uh, sneak attack applies now, uh, instead of it when you have like someone who's five feet away. Um, <clears throat> you could only apply sneak attack when you either have advantage against the creature for the, for the attack, or if you are flanking with someone. And we're gonna go ahead and go over those flanking rules. That is the only two times you can apply sneak attack. You'll have to do, you have to be tactically sound with your party uh, if you don't have advantage to actually go ahead and strike that. And then finally, paladins have been altered. Uh, you can only use divine smite once per turn now. So you've got extra attack or haste. You can't be like divine smite. And then I divine sight this. And then yeah, adds, what the heck? All right, uh, we're gonna take a small, small break. That's all right. I turned off ads. Yeah, I think Twitch is just being weird today. I don't think you can Holy turn shit. off ads. Three well, minute ad. No. 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 No, as in no. as in I've turned off the ad schedule. You can never turn off oh. ads. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah. But Nerd. for but for some reason, even though I've turned it off, they're like, nah. Nah, we're not gonna worry about that. Oh, it turned the ad schedule back on. Ah, I see. It was like, are you sure you want to Classic. save these changes? And I apparently did not save those changes. That's okay. I snuck in and turned it back on, you son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a... <laughs> God damn. Although some people are subscribing now, so yeah, there we go. Hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll resume that. But those are some of the class changes that have been made. Um, just because I feel like it'll fit better with the hardcore aspect of this challenge. Ugh. And also, I like the new changes they're doing to Druid. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I do too. Yeah. It is so we're, cool. Oh, we're going to give that a go. Um, one second. Let me know when ads are done, smiley face. Someone asked no Artificer. Uh, Artificer is not a core class, so no. We're not even getting Artificers for the, the new refinement of D&D, whatever the heck they're doing with that. It's true. Don't worry, Crown. I'm not going to complain about it. Every time I go on Crown's stream and hang out with them, I'm like, what the fuck is Wizards doing? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it just lets me focus. <laughs> I work on stuff, Brett uh rants to chat yep. chat feeds him back yep it's a, a vicious cycle that continues and i'm just working on whatever you just work it away working man on. hey i think it works i think it i think it works 40 seconds more okay after 40 seconds we're gonna go ahead and continue so chat is fine that's why i'm making my own version of 5e let's fucking go <laughs> i literally left that summit <laughs> like all right i'll show you I'll fucking show all of you. <laughs> Compatible with 2014 edition, huh? Oh my god. Oh, Joe, Joe was streaming during the summit. Uh he was doing like the recap of everything that's going on. I asked my question, just like, hey, Brent got to ask a question. And then Kyle Brink just shut the question down. Joe's like, yeah. oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> all right. Freedom, we're back. Yes, sir. Okay, so we went over the class changes. Druid's Wild Shape got nerfed. Rogue Sneak Attack got nerfed. Paladin's uh, Divine Smite got nerfed. And then that's it. Yeah. That's 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 uh that's that. All right. Now let's go into gameplay because this is where uh, it continues to get a little spicy. Uh, if you are brought down to zero hit points, you suffer a lingering energy uh, injury. This could be anywhere from. A minor scar to losing appendages or your your eye so uh yeah and we'll roll that on a table whenever you're brought back up from zero hit points uh i roll on the lingering injury table and then that is applied to your character uh now some lingering energy uh um injuries can be can be fixed with a simple magical healing spell just by like a cure light wounds or a or, or sorry cure wounds or a good berry or a um or any of that can uh, uh, can reverse some of those lingering effects. There are some injuries that do require the seventh level spell regenerate to fix, mainly the losing of the eye and the appendages. And of course, since, 
Yeah, and since you're we'll all starting at level, level one, uh, this might that might be something that sticks around for a while. Um, disarm and tumble actions are enabled, which means you can now disarm enemies, and you can now tumble through uh, threatened spaces uh, with certain checks if you manage to, to meet those checks. Flanking rules are enabled. I know some people are really excited about this. So uh, to flank a creature, you have to be able to draw a line from one corner to another and has to go straight through um, the character that you're trying to flank. So if you are on the left side of the creature, you need an ally on the right side of the creature. The ally can't be like up north or over on a on a on a on a different corner. It has to be a so straight Joe and line I are through. flanking this table right now. Uh, yes, that is correct. So you guys are, uh, but you yeah. and Crown so are not flanking. Was... Yeah. Okay. It has Perfect. to be. It has to be that cardinal right, direction. Uh, mm -hmm. If you are flanking, your attacks have advantage. So flanking, Huge. flanking is good. Uh, but also that means enemies can do that as well. <clears throat> so uh, anyways, continuing on. Wait, wait, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, there's enemies uh, in this? <laughs> um, if your character meets their demise, this is, this is a question you guys were asking. You guys are free to create a new character um, that the party can meet in town. That char character starts a level lower than the current party. So if your party level is currently an average of two, you'll start at <laughs> Zero level guys one. Walking out, fucking NPCs. <laughs> uh, but oh, hi there, adventurers. <laughs> but don't worry, the minimum is one. So if you guys lose someone at level one and you, you guys are still level one when you get back to town, you recruit another level one character. So it's uh, you know, I, there is some mercy. Um, so, <laughs> uh, this I, uh, heard about in the musings online and specifically from Dimension 20, I heard about this. Uh, your death saving throws are private, which means yes. you don't know if you succeed or fail your death saving throws. Only I and chat get to know, uh, if you succeed or fail. Uh, and so you you guys are just gonna if someone goes down, you're it's 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 gonna be an issue. And then finally, because I am with mercy, uh, there are out there in the world very rare consumables that will allow you to re-roll an ability score or a hit point roll. These are not found very often and cannot be sold. Uh, so. You might find them. Uh, they are not usually found along the way. Usually they're off in the side somewhere because they are a precious, precious treasure. Um, but it does. that's why I, I ask you to keep uh, track of your rolls as well as your hit point rolls because you may decide later on if you find this item to re-roll a hit point, uh, a hit, hit die, or re-roll uh, a really bad um, ability score. But uh, yes, that is the rule set that we will be working with. Do you guys have any questions up to this point? Can we roll? Yes. So this is the question that was on my mind. Yes. Yes, we can. Uh, we will be determining roles through combat initiative. So let's... Uh, oh, shit. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Damn, that's not a good start. All right. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Oh my God, Marius! That's is that an holy shit! Real life stats. <laughs> you, you guys are yeah, that's ex <laughs> yeah. You all are yeah. Your entire character sheets start at zero. So everyone, I think, has a negative five penalty currently to their uh, dexterity with that additional roll. But that also does mean that you all are uh, <laughs> the same power level. All right. So looking at our initiative order, it looks like Joe. You'll be the first one that'll be rolling some stats. So I'm gonna need All right. I'm gonna need you uh to, to just listen closely about this. When you select your token, Joe, uh we have an, a brand new hot bar that you will be able to use. And uh, let me know when you select your token if it pops up. I don't know where it's gonna be on your screen. Mine is currently All in the right. upper right. It might be in the upper left. It'll say is Joe. It like features attributes. Yep. No. Yep. That's it? Yep. Oh, I see it in features. Yeah, I see yep. it. I see what so, you mean. So so, as you mouse over uh, over features, I'm trying to see if it's in any order. It's not. Uh, you will see six dice. Uh, this is what we will be using uh, to roll each of your stats. So, 
But if you moused over the features, let's no time like the present. Go ahead and give me that strength stat roll, please. Do, do I not need my race first? Nope. Oh, you're. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah it's okay. It's okay. You're good. You're good. Your I was, no, no, it's good. I was so excited. He's I was so like, excited. Yeah. I want to roll a dice. I want to roll a dice. This, 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 this. Yeah. Uh, hey, there's, uh, I put a little random table in our group chat. Oh, uh, I see it. There's a D14 to get the race <laughs> and then a D18 <laughs> to get the background. All right. So I want to go full random, man. Okay. Uh, so Dude, I'm going to random all the way down to class, I think. You're all a psychopath. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna make a guy that's gonna let you all down. Uh, give me one second. I love him already. Before you roll, uh, I want to make sure I have the race folder open. Boop, boop, boop. Classes, SRD, class features, background. Which folder is it? It's not items. It's not that. It's, it's not racial features. Uh, do you want, are you looking at D&D Beyond? Or are you looking in Foundry? I'm looking at Foundry to see if there's just a, if there's a races section. I don't think there is, though. Uh, that's okay, because I have everything imported from D&D Beyond, so we'll just do that. All right. Uh, yeah, Joe, give me a 1D14. Let's see what race you're going to be. Okay. Boom. What are a you? Three. High Elf. All right. Mm. All right. Pretty cool, pretty cool. You are currently a high elf. That means you get a plus two to dexterity. So we're going to go ahead and put that dexterity uh, over to a two. I'm going to go ahead and set everything as a zero on your character currently. And. Uh, Dex of two, intelligence of one. Okay. Yes. yes. Checking the attributes. Yes, there we go. All right. And a. Um, what else is there? You said you got it also plus and two. And then I made a background. Uh, oh, oh, you mean in the race? Yeah, plus two uh, decks. Yeah, the high elf gets a plus one intelligence. So it's plus two decks from the base row, right, elf. And then for the sub race, it, if it's high elf, I'd get plus one. It. Oh, okay. So I, I drag just elf. Oh, what's going on? Oh, already the smartest among us. Elf. Where did yes. Oh, oh, you know what? It's probably because... Oh, there it is. It's all the way at the bottom. Thank you so much. Okay. I hope, yep. I hope I roll negative on intelligence so my cantrip <laughs> is so useless. <laughs> no! <laughs> the worst. All right, give me that uh, background roll. Let's see what background you are. 1d18 is what I wrote down. That's okay. Uh, 15. Sailor. <laughs> okay. Cool. All, right. All right, you're going to be a sailor. I'm going to go and add that to your character sheet. And we'll... A very useful profession in the mines. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to note uh, sailor, uh, and then we'll we'll get all that updated for your character sheet. Uh, let me check real quick. D&D &D Beyond. So, as a... Uh... Oh, one second. I'm trying to get my D&D &D Beyond up. So as a sailor, let's see what effects you have. Uh, you start with a skill proficiency of athletics and perception. That's pretty helpful. Mm, it is good. Uh, you will have a proficiency with navigator's tools. Nice, you nice. You're, you're going to start off. One second, please. With a club. This club is a belaying pin, so your weapon is actually a belaying pin uh, with the same stats as a club. You're going to have uh, 50 feet of silk rope, a lucky charm, such as a rabbit foot or a small stone with a hole in the center. Shall be my mother's big toe. Mother's big toe. Understood. <laughs> It fell off when she got uh, a foot infection, and I've kept it around my neck ever since. <laughs> oh, my God. Big oh. toe <laughs> on neck. All right. Understood. Big toe Jenkins. Big toe Jenkins. Uh, you get a set of common clothes. Congratulations. Mm. And, then, and, oh, then, lucky. and then finally a pouch filled with 10 gold pieces. Nice. He's already the richest because Silk Rope Damn. is fucking bougie. <laughs> I'm at... the only one who's rich because I'm the only one who exists yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly it. All right. Are we? Can I, can I do it now? Um. Oh wait. Yeah. You. Sorry. You roll your background. Um. 
you choose your background after your stats, but that's okay. We'll go in that order because you're going to roll it random anyways. Okay, now. Okay. Yes. Give me, uh, in your features, you will see a strength stat roll. Go ahead and click that feature for me. see it. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> 11. Not Ooh, bad. I'll take it. Not I'll take it. not bad. Very good. You rolled a three, two, and there's a six in there. All right. God damn. Now, oh, same boy. thing. Give me a dex stat roll. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. He's got oh, 19 dex with the bonus as a high elf. God no. damn. What? Holy <laughs> shit. Insane. I'm viable. <laughs> I should have shared that. I should have shared that because <laughs> Con could fuck you, oh, you, could you, fuck you right now. Con might fuck you up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We'll Let's see. see that con saving that con roll. Not 12. bad. Not no. bad. Okay. All right. God so damn. He's not the loser. He's not the loser. <laughs> Joe's going to be the hero. Joe's going to be the hero. Lead. Intelligence, please. Okay. Okay. This is the one which defines me. 13. Hey, what the fuck? Oh, Huge. He's, he's had a six. Pad. He's had a six in every single roll. Let's fucking go. But did go. he dump wisdom? Let's find out. <laughs> wisdom, please. Well, oh, it had to happen. Oh, it had to happen somewhere. Oh, All it takes is one massive. spell. And yeah. He's done. One, three, and two. He absolutely Ooh. dumped wisdom. And then finally, charisma, please. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Not bad. Honestly, yeah. honestly, pretty six, good though? stats. Staggeringly <laughs> average in the grand scheme, but that means good. Oh my god. He's insane. He's got a He's 19 insane. dex. Yeah, He's the best yeah. character. He is going to be the best character. He's got a 19 <laughs> dex. His intelligence is a 14 because of uh, him being a high That's elf. Very good. God damn. Gee, you could be literally damn. almost anything aside almost, from like. Not a cleric. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I won't be a cleric or a monk. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, you want to roll the class right now or you want to choose a class? I. Uh, do you know what? I think it's so funny to roll a class. I set up the roll if you want it. With, you want me yeah, to put it? I can put the because numbers Because if I in. get if I get the one thing like a like a druid or something, which there I'm it so is. terrible, it's oh, perfect. Oh, oh, put it put it in. It, oh, there it is. Yeah. All right. Give me a one d twelve. Do you want to do it that way, Joe? Join me, yeah. Joe. Let's yeah. fucking go right. Yeah. Away. All right. One d one d twelve. Let's see it. This is where my work comes crashing down. Bard. Oh, okay. 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 That's not bad. Yeah. That's, That's not, not bad. bad. That's not God. Look at him. Look at him. God damn. He's I a new did. bard. He's a new bard. He's he's getting he's into new. it. He's figuring it out. That's okay. Good for him. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and add the bard over to your character sheet. Excellent. Uh, ooh, it rolled hit points as max, and we definitely don't want that. So, <laughs> if you, you could manually roll. Uh, well, if, <laughs> we abs definitely don't want that. We definitely don't want that. Uh, give me one second. I'm actually going to drag the following bard hit Ooh. die. All right. Wrenches the eight out of your character sheet anyway. Uh, no, no, no. We don't even. <laughs> I'm going to roll like a, a one here and have two HP. But All just right. Here. If you have a negative con modifier and you roll a super low roll, what does that math out? The minimum can be one. It's always okay. one. You can't have negative hit points. I got you know, do you know the scene? This is such a random scene, but in Spy Kids 3, where <laughs> Elijah Wood shows up and he's yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. the guy, and immediately dies, that's what I would roll <laughs> if I get one. All right. So uh, in your active abilities now, when you uh, mouse over features, you will see barred hit points. Go ahead and give me mm. a click. Go ahead and give that a click, please. Ah, hey, not God. too bad. <laughs> We're not changing the hit points. He got the max roll. I can't believe it. I'm, He's a, I'm God. a lucky guy. Jesus Christ. All I'm right. I'm a D &D character. <laughs> <laughs> made an actual character. <laughs> um, If you mouse over features, you will see Bard starting GP. Go ahead and give that a click, please. Uh, Okay. Come on. Give me the big cash. Oh, my <laughs> God. A hundred and four. No way, dude. He landed a 13. Huh? Oh, two oh, fours, two ones, and a three. Yeah, that's so, actually pretty average. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So you got a hundred and forty gold pieces. Okay. Right. Uh, will you be keeping this character, Joe? <laughs> no. No, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Powers over delete character. <laughs> Go ahead and toss that one out. <laughs> Come on, You're too good do, for me, sir. Do it. Um. So uh, now, uh, what Joe is going to do is purchase the items that he needs. Uh, and to do that, 
I will now welcome you <clears throat> to if you have another fucking module the celestial pendant on. if you click over items oh, you oh. you can now with your token selected purchase oh. anything you want from this list this includes we're weapons armor mundane items what do you mean we're not friends i'm gonna tell you what the we're module is been <laughs> holding out on uh, all these new modules what is this huh? <laughs> huh now i could spend all my money and buy all of the chalk Yes, you it can. Is, there's 99 of <laughs> them. Dude, I mean, have you noticed there's a hundred? You could, you could get yourself a nice magnifying glass for $100. That's um, not bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> no thing. now while Joe is buying the items, you'll, you'll see there's a little purchase over on the right side, Joe. Uh, that oh. will, that'll, that'll reduce from your current gold of 140 uh, and add those items in your inventory. It is an actual functional store. Um, that you will actually be able to see uh, all around. So, while Joe is doing that and purchasing the items they need, we're going to move on. Hey, Hi. Junie. Hey, Junie. How are oh, you? How are you doing? Good luck, Junie. Oh, man. <laughs> Time to roll some stinkers. Yeah, quite an <laughs> act to follow up on. Mm hmm. Uh, first mm. off, I need you to select a race, please. Uh, I'm going to be playing a Lightfoot Halfling. A Lightfoot Halfling. All right. Nodders, mm. nodders. Oh, what is, what is the, uh, yep, give me one second. Racial bonus. Uh, so you said Lightfoot, correct? Yep. Okay, so dragging that on there. It looks like your racial bonus will be a plus two to dexterity. You'll have lucky, brave, and halfling nimbleness. Uh, okay. Charisma one. All right, so your dexterity is now moving up to two. Your charisma is moving up to one. Okay, so now that Excellent. we have now that we have that done, uh, do you see the hot bar uh, for you? I do. Yep. Mouse over features and give me it yours. Time? It's time. Strength yes. stat roll, please. Here we go. Okay. <gasps> Thirteen. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Oh, damn. All right. Okay. All right. A little tough. We'll be adding yeah, a, yeah. He's we'll like be, a rowdy boy. We'll be He's adding a, a two rowdy. to your dexterity stat roll. So give me your dex stat mm. roll, please. Okay. I am rolling it now. Uh 12. Okay. okay. A 12. 12 right? Okay. 12 dex. Con roll. This is this is who this, this is an important scary this one. Is like the most important. <laughs> this is an important we'll roll. See. Okay. Done. It's gonna be 18. All right. <sighs> okay. I'm doing it. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. All right, I haven't hit single digits yet, which is kind of remarkable. We're doing okay. good. Plus ones all around. That's great. Uh, intelligence, please. Intelligence. Is this a smart boy or a dumb boy? The Let's find out. Work. Ooh, oh. that's okay. He, eight. He brain ain't working. His right. brain's a little <laughs> moldy. <laughs> they got some mold on. Got that John brain's eight brain. Smooth, Could have been worse. <laughs> Could have been worse. Wisdom, mm. please. Wisdom. It's Ooh, a 10. that's a 10. Okay. okay. There, there was a one in there and you still got a 10. God damn. And then finally, give me that charisma. We'll be adding a plus one that to this. Riz. Does my boy have a Riz? Okay. Uh, 11. Okay. So, like uh, the most standard character. You are a milk yeah. toast character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> milk Fucking toast couldn't tell good. you apart from a box of cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> but good cardboard. It's a solid cardboard. It's a it's solid. Very beige. Good car. <laughs> God damn. Uh, so tell me, uh, what would you like your background to be? Uh, my background is going to be a guild artisan. Ooh, all right. Mm. I will. Add, I will add that to the abilities. Guild artisan. Mm -hmm. Close. One moment, please. You can be our crafter. You can be making us stuff. Uh, he's going to be a baker, I think. Oh. <laughs> Actually, the son of the baker, so he's not like a fully fledged baker. Um, oh my god! <laughs> All right, still kind of figuring it out. Jack yeah. corner type. Your skill proficiencies will be an in insight and in persuasion. Uh, mm. What would you like your artisan uh, tool to be in? Your um, art artisan tool proficiency. Let me shoot. I'm actually if not you're doing. Super... If you're doing bakers, you probably want cook's utensils. Yeah, cooking utensils, please. All right, understood. 
Let me go over here real quick. And... We'll at least have somebody to cook us food when we're dying out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Virtually worthless, maybe, for this <laughs> uh, campaign, but I don't care. <laughs> uh, cooks utensils. Done. Mm -hmm. uh, you get to learn an additional language. What would you like to learn? Uh, let's do Gnomish. All right, Gnomish it is. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And then... Uh, a set of artisan tools of your choice, which I'm assuming assuming is going to be the cooking utensils. Yep. Dragging that over. Um, a letter of introduction from your guild. A set of traveler's clothes. <gasps> I have a letter of recommendation. You have a letter oh of my recommendation? God, letter from their fucking <laughs> yes. dad. My mom, actually. <laughs> and 15 gold pieces. Okay. We're rich. Letter of recommendation. Okay. So, uh, Junie. Yeah. What class would you like to be? I'm sort of struggling with this one. Okay. Uh, because, <laughs> God, I don't want to play oh. another fighter barbarian, dude. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> There's mm -hmm. always the D12. <laughs> there... <sighs> you are There's so average, Junie. You would be good at any. So You'd be. A... Yeah. You're right. There is. There is true. a wait. There's no, the tomato holds no, 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 no. I hear it. Take I hear a voice. G12. I hear a whisper, a song. <laughs> oh, oh no! I'm being compelled. You have to roll the... It's a twelve. It's You're a, a wizard. wizard. Oh, no, no. <laughs> You're a oh, wizard, no. Harry. Yes. No. Oh, geez. Everyone told oh, you to be a fighter and a barbarian, but you Ooh, is that an, is that a wizard with an eight oh, intelligence? Yo, is Let's that an go, go. wizard! <laughs> Hell yeah! That's yes, so good. God. I might. This is the new meta. I think is actually what I'm going for. It's uh -huh. something a little bit unusual, something mm -hmm. a little experimental, okay. actually. But I will be playing an int dump wizard. I think. Okay. Okay. We all really mm. like that. Is the thing. We uh, all really like that. I okay, think, that's good. I think we're all a fan of that. Um, the... I love the idea of this wizard being like held up by his parents' prestige, <laughs> comes out, got through college for free, got through baking school for free. <laughs> You're like, this is what I want to be. Um, so you I just are. Want to do magic? So you are an into dump wizard, but are you a hit point dump wizard? Uh, oh. oh God! Here we go. Oh, I shouldn't have rolled. I should have just hit the bullet and been another <laughs> barbarian fighter. Oh, God. Okay. You can roll a one on any dice, though. This could be bad no matter what. <sighs> I, I have okay. now granted you wizard hit point feature for you to roll your wizard HP. <laughs> Someone hold my hands. We've also adjusted hold it hand. to default. You got now. this. It's going to be okay. 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 It's, it's okay. 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 Hey. Five hit points. One bad swing of a sword in this wizard's chunk. But I mean, <laughs> hey, it's still above average. <laughs> you are a wizard with five hit points. All right. That's, That's solid. No, it's no good. Uh, It's great. What are you talking about? <laughs> you said gonna, it. It's fine. It's fine. The D12 okay. failed you, but you're going to be fine. Hey, let's you're see right. how much. Let's see how much money you've got, though. Wizard starting in gold piece, please. Yeah, a lot of money. That is uh wizard starting gold piece. Okay. Okay. 90. All right. So you have a hundred and five gold pieces. Mm. Very nice. Very good. And then finally, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, just in case I'll show you guys the shop again. And uh, yeah, but <clears throat> the question is. Mm. Junie, are, are we keeping it or are we killing it? Ooh. I'm keeping it. All right. Well, hey. Go ahead. I'm doubling down, actually. Double down. Double, Double down. down. Double nice. down. Double down. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All I'm right. going to do everything in my power for this character to survive. I, 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 I fucking <laughs> spirit. You got to stay attached to them. Exactly. All right. So deleting all this, feel free to buy. You are free to start buying items as you please okay, in the shop. Thank you. And uh, who's next? Who's next? Tomato. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yes. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, it sounds like you're going all random, correct? Oh, I'm. I'm fucking. I'm really gonna flip the coin. I'm gonna roll the dice, dude, hard. All right. Let's see what you got. 
All right. First is the D14. Yes. For the race. D14. You are... Stout? A stout halfling. Oh. Nice. We got a we got a halfling party over here. Okay. An elf and two halflings. Very good. Uh, plus two decks. Uh, plus one con. That's I like cool. that con. I do like that. I think we all like that. Uh, but just dice like that. Uh, we'll start first with your strength, please. Do you see your your uh, oh, yeah, bar? Excellent. Uh, I'm gonna let you all down. Oh, Twelve. I got 12. Oh. That's, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Give me a dex. Next up is dex. That is oh. an eight. That is an eight dex because of the okay. uh, stout halfling. Okay, this is the big one though. You've got All a right. ten, you've got a ten con because of the stout Black halfling. Not bad. Int. <laughs> cool eleven. <laughs> Solid. 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 Wisdom. Nine. <laughs> Not do it. Solid. No, I'll take nine. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. That's solid. A little crumbly, but we're that's still solid. solid. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna swing it back with that fucking Riz. Oh. <laughs> solid. You only have a bonus to strength. You have a minus one to Dex and Wisdom, and everything mm. else is a fucking zero. Well, hey, I hey. might be able to swing it back around on this background. Yeah, yeah. So, True. so you're doing a background uh, roll. D eighteen. See what it is. One. Uh, you're an acolyte. <laughs> I don't leave the church very often. <laughs> with how weak my bones are. Holy shit! Uh, I'm glad you're. Feet. I'm glad you're an acolyte because that's actually the default SRD. So I can just drag that over, and <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so, as an acolyte, uh, let's see what you get. Uh, you have uh, proficiency in insight and religion. So that's great. Okay. Uh, next up, uh, you get to choose two languages of your choice. Uh, well, uh, let's go with like dwarvish and okay. uh, I don't know, elvish. Elvish, understood. Normal, mundane things. Uh, so for the items that you will be bestowed upon, uh, you will get a. <clears throat> Excuse me, one second. I'm trying to find it. Is there a holy symbol? Yep, yeah. you get a you get a holy symbol. It's a gift when you enter the priesthood. You're going All to right. get a prayer book. All right. All right. Book. Uh, there it is. Prayer Party book. Party character. I love this. Pray to God every day. <laughs> a prayer wheel. <laughs> you get not one, two, three, or four, but five sticks. Love that. Of, of incense. Good, good. Okay. Uh, and some, uh, some vestments. Mm. Cool. Uh, common clothes when you're, you're amongst the common folk. And a pouch containing 15 gold pieces. Oh, okay. Mm, all right. Not bad, not bad. Church is paying pretty well. <laughs> not bad out of here. So, oh, man of the faith. So now you get to pick your class, but I'm assuming you will be rolling your class. Oh, I'm I'm hitting that, that nasty D12, dude. Let's see. I'll tell you what. Ooh. That's a one, dude. That is a barbarian of the uh, cloth right uh, there. Yeah, <laughs> barbarian of the cloth. <laughs> I, pray to God. I pray to God I'm going to rip your fucking face off. Uh, you do get unarmed defense, which is great because you have a 10 con and that doesn't do anything with your eight decks. So you got an unarmed defense of, ooh, nine. Epic. Very cool. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Hey, to God now. <laughs> uh, one moment, please. As I set you up with the next two rolls. Now, your hit die is a d12. Mm. Which does mean there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of wiggle room with your hit points. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So far, I've been rolling really average, which I actually find wildly disappointing to yes. me. Yes, yes. Because I was hoping either I'd roll super hot 
or really be the biggest dude. This is the, the opposite. Party. This is the opposite of what you wanted. This is what I I'm I don't want to tell you this dude's already dead, but, but he's feeling already <laughs> dead. Well let's unless let's, he rolls something crazy right let's now. Let's see what the hit points rolls. Yeah. Ooh! Oh my god. Oh my god. You <laughs> my <laughs> friend have one you are the one hit point oh, no. barbarian. No. no The prophecy has come oh. true. <laughs> Uh, if you buy off of this character, don't spend much money. <laughs> so you're you're a man of the faith, but you're really pissed off about it. It seems nine AC one hit point. Oh no! They always told me never to leave the church. They said I'd break if Augusta win. Oh no! Grandpa, get back inside. <laughs> <laughs> one last trip out, I can still fight. Oh no. Uh go ahead and give me uh the gold roll, please. 2d4. Oh, it's actually times... in your in your uh, oh, features. In yep. Okay. Barbarian oh, starting GP. I see it. I roll it. Hey, you have 85 gold pieces on you. Okay. So the question remains, uh, will you be keeping this character or will you be offing him? I really want funny stats and one HP is less funny. One HP is more inconvenient to yep. me yep. in session one when I die, <laughs> when someone accidentally slaps me with a back. Yeah. I believe so, you're saying this character is going to die right now. I is that think correct? this character takes one step outside the church and a like actual rock hits him in the face and he fucking cries. <laughs> And whatever my next character is, saw that shit happen, and I don't know, like fucking walked up to check on him or something. Okay, like, so it, it affected your your new character. Uh, <laughs> this this affected my new character. To the point was like, I gotta get out of town, and he took that fucking cart. He took that cart job and got the fuck out of there. <laughs> he's pointing it. He's point. People are pointing <laughs> over at you. When some, when some dude of the faith walks outside the church, gets hit by rock so hard they die. Is it is it safe to say your new character might be wanted for murder, uh, perhaps as a person of <laughs> oh <my> interest? I <laughs> think he was he was right next to them. It yep. could have been anyone, but it <laughs> might have been them. Yep. They had those shifty eyes. Yep, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. Immediately uh, labeled with the criminal background. <laughs> I didn't kill him. A rock fell. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I love that. That would be amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, all right, I have officially reset your character, which means uh, we go again. So starting at the we top, go again. Go ahead and give me a roll for that race, please. D fourteen, eleven. You? Rock no. Ooh. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's even worse. A rock killed that guy, and this is a rock <laughs> gnome. No. Uh, Maybe you are the rock that killed that guy. We <laughs> <laughs> threw you too hard. Maybe, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe you didn't get hit by a rock. Maybe you just oh like bumped God. into him in the street and it snapped his body in half. <laughs> what if it was a hawk that was carrying you and accidentally dropped you? Uh, you will have a uh, plus two intelligence, dark vision, and gnome's cunning. Uh, you also Ooh, have vision. you also have a plus one uh, to your constitution. So two intelligence, one con. All right. That's a good start. Two HP minimum, dude. That's good for me. <laughs> That's all right. Right. You're already Solid. twice already as better, better than, 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 than the two. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I have given you your uh, stat rolls again. Uh, go ahead and start with that strength, please. I really want to let everyone down. Okay, Eight. you're starting strong. Yep, good. yep, okay. yep. Well, no, he's not. <laughs> yeah. No, I want it even more. He's starting. Nine. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> We're oh looking good. God. Looking good. On, let's get some stinkers. Okay, con. that's a that's a 13 at con. A little bit. You're okay. at least going to have double health. Yeah. And, yeah, double health is good. That's good. Uh, okay, uh, Int is next. You have an 11 <laughs> Int. Okay. Uh, wisdom. He wants to think big 13. or soft. Okay. 13. Big mental stats. Big mental stats. Does he have a charisma? Nope. Oh, oh my oh, god. That's the lowest roll so oh far. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. He just fell over. I don't Look at that ugly son of a bitch. He obviously know. did it. <laughs> he killed it. He killed that old man. <laughs> this is With good. a face I like, like that? Guy. Of course he killed him. <laughs> god damn. All right. Uh, stuff is, uh, background. background. Yeah, give me a roll. That's a D. 
What is it? 18? Okay. I've already rolled for you. It's a three. <laughs> oh, criminal. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess it would be criminal. I guess that one's going to be locked in this time because it fucking it would, adds are, up. Would you, it? would you like to lock it in as criminal? I think we got lock in as criminal. This character has to have a backstory. Yes. The original one. God, I'm <laughs> loving it. Okay, oh, we'll do criminal. God. All right, so criminal background. Uh, you have... <laughs> I didn't do it. Uh, you have deception. <laughs> I didn't so, do it. So you have a deception of negative two now. So that's awesome. Uh, and cool. stealth. Uh, also, uh, now a zero to stealth. So we neutralize that. Awesome. Nice. Um, so next up, you get a, uh, ooh, a gaming set of some kind. Oh, dude, I want a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Nintendo <laughs> Switch. I got my Game Boy Advance, guys. I promise <laughs> only, I didn't Only one of the controllers works. Would you have a chess set, a dice set, or a playing card set? It'd just be cards. All right. Mm, a fine choice, a fine choice. A set of uh, dark common clothes, including a hood. So dark common clothes. <laughs> With okay. hood, God, you look suspicious as hell. Yeah, it's a lot of there's a lot of bullshit going on around these parts. If I'm gonna be honest. Wow. It all just adds up. A lot of lot of lot of weird stuff going on. People just jump into conclusions when Excuse some guy me, walks that, out and dies. Is that a crowbar in your bag right now? Yes, it is. You also have a crowbar uh, in your. Bag. I worked at the docks. I open boxes. I work in shipping and handling. <laughs> oh, Brett. Yes. When I go to click purchase, it says I cannot afford the item because Victor doesn't have money. Oh, weird. I, I, I thought I assigned the character to you. One moment. I see please. my players list under lost money. Oh, yeah. So I've, I've assigned it. Player. You might have to you might have to uh, refresh. That's okay. Uh, refresh. Yeah. Just just so um, it let it knows that you're you are who you are. And worst case scenario, if this doesn't work out, we'll just do a, we'll do it the old fashioned way. Yeah. I've already written down all of the prices. Awesome. Uh, there you go. So, will you be picking a class or rolling a class? Oh, he's rolling. <laughs> he's rolling. He's going to roll it, and he's going to get... Barbarian, <laughs> baby! Barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> you can't avoid hey, it, man. dude. You can't fucking avoid <laughs> it. <Thank> God. <laughs> if you get one health again, I'm going to uh, scream. That'd be so good. All right, looking at your, you have an unar you now have an armored cl uh, armor class of ten. It, it was a nine before, so this is pretty good. Getting stronger uh, every day. All right, give me one second, please. While barbarian I... on barbarian violence. <laughs> Such a damn shame. Just really, just pissed you off, didn't he? Uh, With a minimum two, you're able to take at least one hit of two damage reduced to one. You're solid. If you're, it, if you're raging, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, 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 this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Barbarian hit point roll, please. <laughs> hey! hey! Ten hit points. That's pretty good. Let's Not fucking bad. let's fucking go. We'll take them. We'll take All them. right. And then finally, give me your gold roll. Okay. A little poor. Not a lot you're, going you're, on in there. <sighs> You're definitely a little poor. Uh, 65 gold pieces. Uh, make sure you guys are buying weapons and armor. Uh, potions are also there. Um, and I was nice enough to leave a level one spell scroll. Uh, if you want to go ahead and have a little extra spell casting. It's only 60 gold pieces, but, you know, sometimes you got to spoil yourself. You know what only I'm saying? 60. Well, only 60. That's most of my, almost all of my savings, matter of <laughs> fact. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, this is, this is delightful. Um, extra impressionable today. I'll buy that spell scroll. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we've finished up uh, Tomato's character. Which only leaves... Uh, hello, gamer. Hello. Give me one second. I'm just going to, once again, just show this off to everyone. Or if it does work for some people and if it doesn't work for anyone. Judy, were you able to buy anything? Uh, I'm buying a little, I'm looking through it. It actually, uh, has me a little bit confused because it says I'm, like, not proficient in literally anything, even though stuff that would be really obvious for a wizard, like a wand or a staff, right? Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll apply that proficiency. That matter, right? Yeah, we, yeah, we have to do that all okay. manually, so yeah, we'll, we'll provide proficiency okay. with all that. No You're problem. good. Because you also have to choose your, uh, skills, which you haven't done yet. Oh, my skit, my skills, right? Mm -hmm. okay. You gotta choose which skills it is, so, but we'll... We can we can tackle that later. 
Uh, all right. So crowns. Let me. I have. Uh, I'm going to be rolling most of it. Uh, I have made an adjustment to the roll table for races because I fucking hate gnomes. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to roll a d12. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> all right. All right. I like it. I like it. So you have a 12. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, that means... Tiefling. All right. If, yeah, I'm a tiefling. Yeah, you're a nice. tiefling. That's awesome. Let's I open... What the PHB tieflings give you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so... One moment, please. Oh, Brett, are we working with weight? Oh, yeah. Okay, I've got to be careful about some of the weird purchases that I've been doing. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yeah, we're doing weight. <laughs> Encumbered already. Uh oh <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad idea. I think there's uh, just one tiefling type. There's one tiefling. You have a plus two to charisma. And a plus one to... God damn it. Oh, there you are. I see you're using the tidy sheets. I got, I, I got, yes, conf sir. I got confused for a second because I've been using the normal sheets for everyone, and I see yours. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. Uh, two charisma, one intelligence. Okay. Uh, now that we've got that all squared away, it's time to do I some to... Billy score rolls. Yeah. So in your features, you mm -hmm. will see strength, dexterity, con, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. I am ready. Let's see how you do. Give me that strength roll, please. A 12. Very good. Dex, please. Another 12. Very please good. Please don't be John Average, I beg you, please. Constitution. Oh, hey, my, my God. God. That's God damn, that's gonna, good. You're a gonna, tank. Gonna be a hearty guy. Gonna be a hearty guy. Intelligence, please. 11. Pretty good. Okay, uh, and I think actually ups you to 12 because as, as a tiefling. Wisdom. Seven. Ooh. That's a negative Welcome two. To the club, my friend. There it is, baby. And then finally, charisma. A 12 charisma. All in all, not bad. I mean, you got a 17 mm. constitution, 12 strength, dex, and charisma. Uh, a, oh, and intelligence, and a seven wisdom. Not bad at all. Okay. So, uh, what's your, uh, what's your background going to be? What is my background? Uh, mm. I'm a sage. I don't know what? how. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very smart. <laughs> I'm very smart. <laughs> I'm very wise. With your seven wisdom. <laughs> Beyond my years, in fact. <laughs> uh, should I just saw the background? Okay. As a sage, uh, you immediately gain proficiency in arcana and history. Uh, you get to learn two languages of your choice. What would you like that to be? Uh, give me elf and uh, dwarven. All right. Actually, what of our what of our what's our party right now? We got uh, a high elf. Oh yeah, I haven't actually chosen my languages either, so I'll pick around you guys as well. I'll pick a. Uh, Halfling and, uh, and Elvish. All right. Halfling and Elvish it is. For your equipment that you get as a sage, you will get a bottle of black ink, a quill. Let me just go ahead and look that up real quick. Oh, I already know what this guy's going to be. He's going to be a liar. <laughs> uh, charlatan. He uh, lied to get his way into the church and or the scholar study. Hell, hell yeah. So we're going to add a quill. A small knife. Oh, Jesus. A letter from a dead colleague posing a question you have not yet been able to answer. Oh, fuck. <laughs> nice. What does it mean to be alive? Why do you write this to me? What a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I copy paste that entire thing. A uh, set of commoner's clothes. And finally, a pouch containing 10 gold pieces. Mm. All right. Uh, now that let me give you give me just one quick moment to delete your dice rolls. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. OK. Uh, oh. So next up is going to be your class. What would you like to play as? 
Oh, we have a a wizard, a bard, and a barbarian. Correct. Yes. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> you always roll for oh, it. Jesus. Yeah, everybody else has rolled. I might as well roll. Yeah. The dreaded D12. A monk. <laughs> A seven <laughs> wisdom <laughs> monk. Jeez. Sometimes oh, join the club. just takes you down. <laughs> Holy shit. I definitely lied to get into the monastic order. Holy uh, fuck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I believe yeah, in all I, that. Uh, yeah, peace. Um, <laughs> uh, reincarnation. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I said my prayers. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, let me drag over your monk hit dice roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your non-existent starting wealth roll. Yes, sir. All right. Let's go ahead and start with your monk hit points, please. Okay. That's under... It's going to be your... It's going to be features again. Monk hit points. Four. With a plus three constitution, you are at seven hit points. Hmm. That's not bad. Could have been worse. Could have been. Could have been one. Uh, and uh, give me that. Uh, give me that money roll, please. Nice. Uh, you have twenty three gold pieces to spend. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe your AC checks notes is a nine. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> The wisdom is actually penalized. It's making you slower. <laughs> oh ah, God. yes. Never seen that happen before. Holy Weighed shit. down by the knowledge you carries. <laughs> uh, is that a fish coming towards me? <laughs> <laughs> if, here's the fucked up part. If you were an unarmored anything else that wasn't a barbarian, you'd have more armor class. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Uh, he's too wise. He's too wise. So now, final question. Are you uh, going to keep him? Oh, absolutely. All right. So we got a... I cannot, I cannot oh, wait man. for him to wade into combat and be like, <laughs> watch how the monks trained me. And then I throw a punch. With <laughs> and then they make me roll a wisdom safe and my head explodes. <laughs> uh, who is the first to die of this party? Just general question, to, just tossing it to the, the honestly, party. Aww. Honestly, despite Tomato having two hit points, my my vote is uh, Joe's character. Joe's yeah. character? Okay. He's gonna get cocky. Yeah, you're right. I think, yeah, I think he's got that cocky, cocky stats. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, out yeah, here yeah, fucking yeah. pumping I'm a AC guy. now with purchases. I'm an in-jump wizard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm mean, a melee build wizard, I guess, nice. is what I'm doing. In, That's right. In wizard dump. dump monk, let's fucking go. <laughs> God damn. I shouldn't have rolled it. <laughs> <laughs> I could have been a paladin. Could have been. You no, know, but, but you rolled. But you rolled. But you did. But you you still can be a paladin. Is all You're I'm saying. Right. Um. Right. Wait, wait. Is are you saying I could like re-roll it now that we've gone through everybody? Oh no no no! I mean when you, you when you die. Level. No no. Oh, as true. in like when you when you pass when right. die. Yeah. Right. We're not gonna let you die. Okay. It's too go. funny. We're gonna keep you alive. We're gonna keep oh, you alive. God. I can't tell if this is sweet or intimidating. <laughs> For the lulls, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna uh, be freaking funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just gonna go through uh, everyone. Uh, Joe, have you had a thought of uh, who your character is going to be now that you've rolled these stats? I haven't got a name yet. Okay. Because uh, I've been buying a lot of weird things. Okay. But, um, Let me just take a peek at your inventory. Mm, yes, uh, the see. weird things haven't come on yet. Oh. I've got them labeled with their price and their weight. <laughs> oh my god. I've got 165 pounds to work with because I think it's your strength times 15. Uh, yes, your your, your character sheet has a, an encumbrance bar at the bottom of your inventory. So, And you are correct, it is 165. I did not need to do the personal math. Okay, I didn't <laughs> see that bar. But okay, you were right. Helped. You were right. That's good. This is good. This is good. Um, it will be a very long name. <laughs> That's okay. what I've decided. Okay. And he is sailing here, uh, seeking adventure. He broke away from his family, and uh, he's seeking great fortune. He is. He wants to be a bard. Mm. Um, 
And uh, I think he's going to try and find the greatest adventures there are here in the tavern. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, Junie, do you want to talk about your character? Do you have a name or anything like that? Uh, or? Yeah, I know his name is going to be Thomas or Tommy. Uh, he is maybe the most adorable halfling in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, very stereotypical, like, hobbit type, like, I want to go on an adventure kind of thing. Uh, he's <laughs> supposed to inherit his mother's bakery. Uh, however, uh, his his wanderlust couldn't be resisted. He wants to see dragons and fight witches. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. He'll be fine, <laughs> He'll I be think. fine, He'll I be hope. fine. Um... Tomato, any thoughts to your character? I felt like my character's already... pretty locked in plot wise. Yeah. I haven't thought of a name yet, he's he's done. He is done. God damn! <laughs> Why are you always this grumpy, cursed character? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, crowned. Any thoughts as a uh, lifetime DM? Have you? Yes. Get... Yeah. Yes, I I I'm gonna roll his virtue name real quick. Actually. Okay. His virtue uh, name. Oh my god. <laughs> My virtue name is Death. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a faker, a big old faker. Uh, I've basically been skating by in the uh, the monastic traditions here around uh, Neverwinter, um, basically grifting, sort of uh, going from temple to temple, proposing to be some sort of uh, sage and or uh, wisdom. And then when I'm finally pressed, I leave in the night. And uh, I've sort of run out of places to go to. So uh, we're going to Fandolin to see if maybe there's a church or a temple there where I can start up again. Hell yes. Nice. Hell yes. All right. So with your characters created and you guys are currently shopping for your starting items, uh, how are you guys feeling about uh, this time slot being when we do uh, doing this campaign? Does that work for everyone here? Yeah, that's good for me. Good for me. You guys uh, ready to start? Oh, I don't know. Next Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, could do yeah that. I believe so. Well, fucking dokey. We got the party. We'll see if any if everyone survives through session one. Uh, same thing I, I told uh, the players uh, chat room. Usually we do things in like three hours blocks, but because uh, sessions are really written, uh, my plan is to just keep going until someone in our party has to tap out because it's running too late. Um, but the idea is we keep going until the session ends. So it might be mean shorter sessions, might be longer sessions. We won't actually be at a set time. But it looks like uh, next Saturday at 8 p.m. is going to be our session one uh, as you guys journey with a cart full of goods to the city of Fandolin. So that's going to wrap up our session zero. Thank you guys so much for making characters today. Hell yeah, bro. Thank you for having us. Hell yeah. Amazing. What happens if it's a TPK? Well, I guess that's how the campaign ends. If an entire party gets knocked out, that's we'll leave it up to the party but i think that <laughs> i think that's pretty much a we're uh <laughs> it's it's over the tale is done i don't think there'll be a tpk i definitely think there might be some 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 player death today uh during this campaign but we'll see what today. happens today holy shit oh there was there was oh, that yeah. oh yeah there certainly was that, that poor meek priest that you know the wind blew wrong on him and he snapped in two Damn shame Poor what happened fella. to that guy. Damn shame. Damn shame. Uh we got bingo and we might I'm gonna I'm checking, checking real quick. Oh, we got some we got fan art. Alright, we got fan art of session zero. Let's fucking go. Nice. Wait. Oh huh? my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'm also surprised. Holy shit. Uh okie dokie. I am sharing the screen. You guys can see. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay, I did it. Oh my god, we got the full. We got a full fucking bingo today, everyone. There's a lot of options here. All right, let's begin. Two or more players pick the same race. Uh, there was two halflings at a mo at, during a moment, so we uh, that did happen. Uh, someone with a 17 or 18 ability score, Joe, got a 17. One of the players has never actually played the Mines of Fandelver. Yep. 
one of the character is super gritty and serious. Do we have a super gritty serious character? No, not for no. Me. So. <laughs> I so. Yeah, no. I don't reckon, dude. All right. A player gets less than four max HP. Yep, that did happen. Yeah. A player has a build in mind, but it gets ruined by rolls. It sounds like Juni got uh, wrecked. I didn't, no, I didn't have a build in mind. I just like, I, I don't know. I took the gamble with the D12 yes. to just randomize As my class. Should I have. should, I know I shouldn't should have. have. I should have just taken done. Paladin like what no, God was implying. No, 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 <laughs> Player no, begs no, for re-rolls. I'm going to count that as what <laughs> Juni the fuck Juni just did. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Pathetic. All casters, no marshals, and half casters. Uh, no, did not happen. One of the characters is a small race, a dwarf, a gnome, or halfling. Uh, yeah, we got two, actually. Oops, all humans. No humans, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Nope. N no. Oh, my God. No, not at all. PC has only negative stats. Uh, nope, we had some... We didn't have only negative stats. A bunch, but yeah. At least one person takes the role of party dad or mom. I don't think that's anyone here. I'm sorry, guys. I, uh, if someone was there hoping for that. No. May luck be on your side. I think you guys honestly did fairly well. There's definitely some pitfalls, but there isn't, like, complete fuck-ups, I feel like. Uh, no I really wanted a complete fuck-up I know you did. I know you <laughs> did. No casters, only marshals and half-casters. Nope, got a nice... Uh, Mix the party. Uh, it's gonna be funny because I think your only he you're the only healer you have is Joe currently, and I don't know if he's gonna be healing anybody. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Damn it! <laughs> yep. I've just realized how encumbrance works. That you move a lot slower if you if you go over certain thresholds. Yes. I bought thirty bags of sand. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they might come in use. What? Damn, while you, man. while you, can you, were, you carry it? I want thirty bags of sand. Okay, I have <laughs> to work it out. Listen, you're you're a sailor. There was a beach you really liked. You take the beach exactly. with you. I you're get sick. it. I'm gonna bury my treasure under thirty bags of sand. This is why Florida's running out of sand. You know. Yeah, <laughs> just looks down, cries. Uh, Brett and the other DMs uh, shared DM stories. I don't think we had any DM stories this time. Uh, Tomato mentions Goblin Paladin. Nope, didn't happen. Player gets God rolls for stats. Multiple 16 plus stats. Honestly, I'm going to give Joe the God roll stats. Because it wasn't multiple 16s, Absolutely. but man, those rolls were good. It was a spicy first roll. Yeah. It was a spicy first roll. A player character is a reference or a parody of an IO character. Nah, I'm working with a bunch of professionals here. Uh, someone rolls a three in a stat. No, I don't think we got a three. Not close. Ladies, night, all women, PC part. I think it's all. God, I could dream. I think it's all. <laughs> I think it's all dudes. Actually, it sounds like. Yeah, uh, it was up to me, but not this time. <laughs> no clerics or paladins, correct? One of the characters is a joke gimmick character. I mean, my. I don't know. <laughs> the I don't old man died. Yeah, the old man who died was a joke gimmick. Yeah, I think. I guess. I, and he I, died. I don't know. I think we have some funny characters, but I don't think we have any joke characters. You know what I mean? Also, everyone here is like a super like, like serious quote unquote uh, player. So I don't think anyone's going to do like the funny. I'm going to be the bard that has sex with the dragon. Lol. And then I roll mm -hmm. my eyes and cry. Uh, unconventional class choice. <laughs> This is bullshit. Uh, I'm gonna give that to Junie. Uh, someone's dice are against them during character. <laughs> punished. Yep. I'm in my punished dark. I think. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. It's you guys. Look at you. Wow. Oh. 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 I love Joe. Joe looks Bob like the tomato looking ass. Human. Yeah. <laughs> milk, milk toast motherfucker. Um, hey, there, there he is. Uh, oh, oh, I, I see. Uh, yeah, that's him. 
Oh my yes. god, Bird started drawing your characters. Look at this. Or what could potentially be your characers. This what? would be nice. Joe. Whoa. What like a it. handsome oh. fella. You just, you just gotta add those 30 bags of sand. Yep. Oh my god, look at Junie. <laughs> That's about right. Different hat. <laughs> oh, very close, though. That's so cute. And, uh, what do we... I'm the guy. <laughs> I love everyone's nice. <laughs> It's oh. him! Rip. <laughs> Ripper Rody. Yeah. On <laughs> before his time, poor bastard. Oh my god, I love Rock how everyone's, head. everyone's got like <laughs> oh. these design ideas already oh. for your characters. <laughs> That's cute. Oh my god. That's so cute. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's him, Your Honor. That's the murderer. <laughs> He's got the crowbar in his hand. I didn't do it! I didn't do it! <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my oh, god. I love the young people. Everyone can't <laughs> barely touch them. Holding on the grip bar. Oh my god. Peace and reincarnation comes up. <laughs> That's right. Oh, look at the, look at the RPG. Look at the party. Oh, Aww. amazing. And <laughs> I'm very wise. And here, here's, here's what could be Yo. an iteration of the party. That's fucking sick. Yeah, what the, I got the, I like know. the wide stance going on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's Tommy. It's <laughs> Just a little guy. Oh, He's just boy. a little guy. Oh, Tommy. First PC kill. <laughs> That's yeah. one under the belt, baby. Yo, Legion coming in. God damn. Oh my Ooh. god, Legion. We got some creative folks here. It's just, we have no idea what anyone looks like, but everyone else does. Oh my god, look at this. This could also be an Whoa. iteration. Damn. All right, Inkley. God damn. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, uh, I'm very excited for this game. Uh, so we will be back with Lost Minds of Fandelver, the uh, hardcore edition, next Saturday at 8 p.m. EST, where we will be doing our uh, session one. Yeah. Perfect. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you around, okay? Thank oh, yeah. you. See you. Bye-bye. Yeah.